So delighted to be with you all. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And I love meeting more and more of your team from around the world and being able to say hello to you. As a reminder, everyone, we are going to get you copies of these slides. This is chock full of ideas for you that you can use to, to use social media to help um, stand out with the people that you know. And so if it's all right, let's dive in. And I'm very excited to share. So just real quickly, a little bit about me. So I'm a virtual and face-to-face -face business networking expert and trainer and international speaker and an author. I've served thousands of business owners in the last 14 plus years in the business networking industry. Most of that was in Southern California. That's how I first met Dale and Mitzi. I say I was networking online before it was cool. You know how we all have to network online these days? Well, we were doing it six years ago. I have pictures of myself on an iPad with brown hair. By the way, X39 has not given me dark roots yet, Roy. It's not given it, it's been eight, nine months, so no dark roots yet. But I have pictures of myself on an iPad networking nationally across the US with people online six years ago. And a fun fact about me, I'm outside of my office. Um, we were here a month ago. I had some Wi-Fi issues, and I didn't want to risk it. But um, Mitzi is your Wonder Woman. I am your Supergirl. I have a Supergirl cape, and I'm not afraid to wear it. And then I have relocated from the US to Singapore three and a half years ago now with my husband for his work. And so we are spending um, the pandemic here in beautiful Singapore. Um, oh, and then just so you know, I'm a huge fan of Dale, Mitzi, and X39. Very huge. So let's get started. Oh, so everyone, social media, I think, is more crucial now for us than ever when it comes to sharing about our business. The, the thing is, it, it, we aren't so open these days. Some, some of you like would go on traveling and be while you're enjoying your trip be talking to people and patching people and with social distancing and all the things going on I think it's just a little more challenging is it not for us to be able to um, share with people what people are and depending on where you're located in the world people are more guarded like here in Singapore you can sit with only five people and they're social distancing so it's not like you're going to be chatting with people all the time um, in the way that you were before. So, so social media is an important way to be um, networking, to be sharing about your business and to be found online. And so I'd love to take a poll. So if you can put in the chat. So let's say um, a 10 is I am totally using social media for all that I can every, you know, on my, um, um, to talk about my business. One is I haven't really talked about it at all. A five is I'm doing okay. So can you go in the patch and tell me on a scale of one to 10 where you are? Let's see where we are right now. Let's see some, some action in the chat. Of course, this is funny, this is great. So this is one of the times when I share my screen and I can't see the action in the chat. So, um, so that happens to me sometimes when I'm sharing a slide. But, but think just, if nothing else, you all can see for yourselves, and I want you just to think about it. What has your, um, how has your participation on social media been? And so let's talk about where you should post. So Mitzi said, Terry Lee is gonna share with us how to share on Facebook. What I wanna invite you to do is, where have you been sharing? Where are you active already? And, and I wanna have you think about it. So if you've been on Facebook, and that's where you're comfortable, that's where I wanna invite you to be posting. Certainly friends, family, business associates are all on Facebook. Can all these people enjoy our product? Absolutely, right? The other thing is if you're on Instagram, some of us are Instagrammers, great place to talk about it as well. On the flip side, LinkedIn, I don't want you to think, I, I mistakenly thought for years that LinkedIn was a boring corporate place. There really wasn't a place for entrepreneurs and networking, and that's simply not true. I could see some of you amazing people talking about health and wellness and being the expert in this area on LinkedIn and sharing. Um, so think about where you'd like to post, and then how often should you post? This also comes back to, I don't want to tell you you need to be posting every day, 
if you're not posting it all about the business. I think it's an invitation and we're gonna share a possible schedule with you a little bit later here in the training. But I think it's just highly possible that, um, that if you're not doing anything, doing one post a week would be great. If you're doing something, just where are you now and how can you level that up? Or maybe you're gonna, maybe how you're gonna level it up is, is the intentionality of what I'm gonna teach you about posting. Ah, what should you post? I have so many slides. You're going to be so excited. You, you might think I wouldn't know what to say. Well, by the time we're done here, you are totally going to have some great ideas of what to say. And I want to invite you just to, um, we're going to have an opportunity at the end for, for people to share. But if there's something that really sticks out at you, like, oh my gosh, I am so totally going to do that. While well, you don't have to scramble and take all these notes now because you know you're going to have access to the slides, um, I want to invite you, though, to keep that idea. This is the thing I'm going to do. But here's one thing I want to share that I think is super important. And it's if we are all about health, if we're all about what our patches can do for us, I think it's important that we walk the walk and not just talk the talk in our social media. So what do I mean by that? Uh, so I have um, Facebook friends who they're part of a, a oh, gosh, God forbid, but a different, a different um, they're health coaches for a different company, right? Um, but I'll tell you what, they walk the walk. They're always talking about their diet, like what they eat. They're showing themselves running. They're, they're, they're always talking about the positivity, the mindset, and they, they model it, right? So if we are representing LifeWave, we're not going to be always showing the cheeseburgers we're eating, um, showing, right? We're, we're, going to, we're going to be showing that we feel fantastic and we have an active, amazing life. That's what we, and, and we're not going to make it up. We're going to show it because it's true. I hope that that makes sense. So we want to walk the walk. Ah, so let's talk about what types of posts we're going to make. I'm going to suggest four types today. So the power of story, social proof, call to action, and videos. Mm, who would be excited to do some videos? Mm -mm -mm. So let's talk about stories. So we always, if you want engagement on your posts, you always want to um, ask for it, whether that's saying, do you agree? Comment here, let me know. Um, but starting with an intention grabber is huge. And I do have, I think this can apply on Facebook as well, but I do have a LinkedIn tip for you. And if you post a post on LinkedIn and you include a picture, do you know that only the top three lines of text show? So if you can add in something attention grabbing, it will get more people to look at it, okay? Um, I'm gonna look this up while I share because I think <laughs> I'm gonna multitask. Ah. But this is just that important. So I'm curious. Yesterday I made a post on LinkedIn and, and, and my top above said, ah, okay. Um, just FYI, I have a chronic blood cancer. Um, and so I'll, I'll just put my, my top three lines and then my Supergirl picture below says, is this your first time here? Just yesterday I was checking in at the cancer center and the question totally surprised me. Well. If, let me see how many people looked at it. Okay, so sometimes when you make a post on LinkedIn, you might not get very many comments, but I did get like like 35, you did get like 35 people responding. So like if that was to, if I had a LinkedIn connection and I saw that, I'd be like, what are they talking about? And, and what is this? And do they have cancer, right? So um, think about what attention grabber you can get, give. So let's keep going on stories. So your stories, what can you tell? Um, Sometimes about the, how the patch helped you, how you helped your clients, a story about your client, right? Get their permission, obviously, right? And if you can, get a picture. How about a business lesson you learned? A funny story that happened recently? A story behind your company name? There must be a story because I asked Mitzi if we should take that out. She says, no, it's good. Something you struggled with in your business. How about, the, how about to sample or not to sample? Mm, to sample or not to sample. Uh, but most importantly, what I want to invite you to do is be authentically you and be unique. Now, I've never asked Mitzi, what is the story behind being Wonder Woman? I know she is. And most people don't ask me about my cape, right? But be you. Like, don't worry about it. I think that those who, my, my 
my mantra every day that I get up in business, especially like online, growing a global online referral organization is, is I am looking for the people who are looking for me. And I think that you are too, right? You're looking for the people who are looking for you. So be you and don't worry about it. Like, what will they think? Or what do I do? So next, social proof. So Mitzi, actually, I saw her put this into play. And so I want to invite you to share the testimonials that you receive from your clients. So it can be, and you don't have to do it and feel um, uh, like you're not humble, right? But how about just this, like take a picture of something and post it in and say, I just love waking up in the morning and seeing this. This really made my day when I heard this. This is why I love what I do. Do you get how this is like sharing testimonials in just an easy way? It takes off you going, oh, you know, it's, it's exciting. And then the other thing is, it's not just you cutting and pasting and sharing, but it can be that you have uh, invite ambassadors to share your info. So that could be like, maybe, maybe Mitzi intentionally said to me, would you talk about your X39 experience? I'd like to share it. And I give that to her, right? So that she can share it. So the third party endorsements are fantastic and getting people not only that you can share on your social media, but it's copied on theirs as well, right? So Mitzi did um, tell me to mention that in your public Facebook group that there are testimonials that can be shared, I believe. So testimonials are important. I think as I go to the next point, I'm, I'm gonna say, and I'm one of them, okay? As you know, people may watch all these things you're doing, but it's gonna come that they have to be ready right? So it, I first met Mitzi 10 years ago. I got sick two and a half years ago. It took me a year and a half, and she had even given me patches months before um, to bring back to Singapore to try, right? Like, it's, we try when we're ready. We try when we're ready. So, but if you're the one out there talking about it, they will remember, and eventually they're going to come to you. Ah, the call to action, the call to action. So important, everybody. So here's, here's where you don't want to scramble to take notes. I have so much for you. All right, so every once in a while, it's important that you share exactly how to do business with you. Join my program, visit my group. Maybe you have a group on Facebook to invite the public to. Sign up for our free workshop here. So we're doing the webinar this weekend, sign up for our webinar here. And I wanna to talk to you about um, the importance of not having your social media just be about your business. Have you had people in your life that that's what they did? And it's like, I kind of, as I'm scrolling, I kind of want to go, not again, you know, not again, or just, is there anything else in your life, right? So be yourself, have fun, have a balance with it, right? So um, share, share value to the people, share your life with the people and ask. I have a story of a gentleman on Facebook and no, 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 he's on LinkedIn. And this gentleman, um, he does work with um, post-traumatic stress um, on, and he works, does work on the brain to help people um, continue in their recovery. And he does amazing videos and he has tips, but in every video, he stops in the middle and he'll put on some music and he'll dance. Okay, so he gets a lot of views because there's always some dance, there's some, some move going on in the middle of his video. Now, some of you dancers may enjoy this idea, right? But the thing is, I asked him, he said he was getting ready to launch a new program and he gets lots of likes, lots of comments all the time. And I said, when is the last time you asked for something from your audience? Um, I said, all the people that enjoy your posts, get your gift to all the time. And he said, I never have. I'm like, you deserve this ask. You absolutely deserve this ask. I said, if you, they like, they care about you, they're a fan. I said, if you said you were gonna launch the program, I think that they would all be behind you and tell people about it. I don't know if he ever did. I don't know if he ever did, but deserve your ask. So Mitzi and I were brainstorming and we thought that um, if nothing else, the possibility of like on Monday, sharing something that is like informational about the company. Like, you know, did you, uh, do you know someone in pain and talking about how the patches help with pain and maybe it's a story, right? Maybe it's a story, maybe it's a testimonial. Um, it could be many things. I'm sure you all have many things you could be sharing that could be informational on a Monday. Then how about on Wednesday, you give some type of wellness tip followed by Friday would be the call to action. Maybe it's an invitation to a call over the weekend. 
This is just an idea. This is just an idea, but does that idea speak to you? That is the question. So we'll keep going. So some call to action terms to use, and this is why you want the slide. So um, we wanna use verbs. We wanna in encourage the idea of urgency, right? And exclusivity. So here we go. See what I'm up to. Let's connect now. Let's chat. Send me blank now. Claim your free blank. Sign me up. Yes, I want to learn more. Yes, please. Comment, yes, please. Comment, yes, I'm ready. Whoops, I'll look at those up a minute. Do you like some of those? Do some of those resonate with you? Could you use some of those in your posts? So we'll make sure you have those. Next, more. We want to always ask for engagement. That's so important. On most platforms, I, I hang out more on LinkedIn now. Um, my business, doing business with business owners, let's face it, business owners are on LinkedIn. I'm still on Facebook, but um, I always ask for engagement. Um, it's super important because the more people that will comment and like, um, like the post, the more it's seen, right? The algorithm on all social media will allow you the opportunity to be seen by more people. So engagement is super important. And, and so that's why you want to um, have call to action. Okay, so how about this one? Would you rather live in pain or would you rather try a patch? Y'all like that one, huh? Tell me how you blank. So invite them to give you an answer. Comment below if you tag a friend who, what do you do when? Tell me about your blank. Come join us, find us on, want to know all about, try it first. Do you see how we can take some of the conversations? And, and I invite you, if you begin using some of these posts, be sharing it within the LifeWave team and show, share with them some unique, like let, let's all just, work together, level up and get the message out, right? There, everybody needs to hear what it is that, that you have to share. They need to hear about it. And, and if we find a particular post that works dynamically for us, let's, let's share it. I think that that would be super helpful within the team and for everyone in the company. So let's talk about videos. Now, videos may be comfortable to you and they might not be. But it's as simple as, I don't want you to think you need a whole video production team to get things going. We all have all we need to do videos, short videos, and that is, that is right here, right? It's your phone. Yeah, everything you need is in your phone. If you happen to have a full production group um, in your office, excellent, excellent, excellent. Then you must use it. So let's get to talking more about videos. So mm, let's think about how we can repurpose our content because it allows us to leverage our time. You might have an informational post you make on a Monday. I invite you, you can also make a quick video about it. Or if you're gonna do like a wellness tip, um, you could do a video about it or um, just share it. I, I wanna make sure that we all understand that, that in in our social media content that we put out, the truth is, is the people who like look at a podcast or a live stream or a video may not be the same people who may read. People consume content in different ways. Next, think about this. In a video, longer is not necessarily better. A quick one minute video, two minute video always beats a 20 minute video, right? We have time for that. I'm gonna listen to that, especially if I have a call to action mm -hmm. above, yes? In your video, I want to invite you to be prepared, but not overly so. I will take a post-it note. I'll take a post-it note and I'll have a little outline and I'll actually um, put it like right underneath my camera. And so that I know where I'm going, I know where I'm going, but I'm not like reading from the script. I have an idea of what my points are. You, some people will want to practice, some won't need to. Some of you may want to do some editing. I think that just that natural video is enough. That natural video is great. You wanna show people who you are and how you are and be like, I want to get to know her. I want to talk to her about the product. I love how she is. I wanna invite you to stay in your, in your niche and I think you will. I think you will. You know, We're gonna be talking about our, our company and about what our products do and how they help people. Um, but what we want to avoid is being all things to all people. Like I 
out on my social media, I'm always about either online networking, business networking, and I include the social media aspect in it because as part of online networking and meeting people online, um, social media is, is all tied in. This is all tied in. So those are the things you'll see me talking about. Now, here's an invitation for you. Ladies, ladies. Okay, Roy can get away with this. Rick can get away with this. Um, they can probably do a video anytime they want and they're gonna look totally handsome and be ready to go, right? Ladies, you know, it takes us a hot minute to get camera ready. And, and I wanna invite you, do you need to look, you know, all glamorous like you had a makeup crew? No, but yet uh, getting, getting where you feel like you look okay on camera um, is important. So I wanna invite you, what if you did a week's worth of videos or if you're gonna share one video a week, what if you do your month's worth of videos all at once, they're done. Once you get in the zone, you just are pressing the button, you have your post-it notes, you go. And what, what you can do, I have used the same clothes in the past and I thought it totally worked. And I had someone share with me, well, I didn't watch the videos because I thought it was the same one over and over. I don't know. But ladies, I know that we will wanna look like we're a little bit together, right? Um, you know, I think you all know it was like 7 a.m. when I came on the call today with you all, and, and I didn't roll out of bed too awful long before that, but I would never like just roll out of bed and come on screen with you, right? And nor would we do a video like that. You know what I mean, everybody. Okay, so let's talk about live streaming. Now, Mitzi and I just did her first live stream interview, and that was recently, right? I don't know if any of you saw it. And she did such a great job. If you haven't live streamed yet, live streaming can be an amazing way to share about what you're doing. Live streaming could be, oh my gosh, like what if you could get Rick or Mitzi on a, Mitzi's gonna kill me, but get Mitzi on a live stream and talk about, talk about some things together, right? Or talk to your clients, you know, oh my gosh, yes, this is how X39 helped me. This is how I was able to um, alleviate the pain I felt for years overnight, right? What if you can be talking about wellness tips and all the things? I have you can live stream. I have a program called Stream Yard that I use. It has a free version up to a super souped up paid version. You can start off for free and grow into it. Um, but you don't have to use Stream Yard. You can actually just click go live inside of Facebook, right? Um, live streaming is powerful. And live streaming is a great way to be um, casually introducing people into all your friends and connections. So I wanna encourage you, if you've not tried it yet, give it a whirl. Who knows, Mitzi, maybe you can be the next like live stream mentor with the team. Ah! I loved how she stepped up as a leader to do it. So thanks, Mitzi. So let's keep chatting. So some social media post ideas. So share a business tip. Share your workspace. You know, it's, it's um, I just took a picture of myself here waiting to go on um, that I'm going to share. Hey, I was, I'm so excited to present for the live wave team. Oops, sorry. That's awesome. I'm so excited to present for the life wave team today, right? Just casually be sharing that you're working your business mantra, whatever it is. What was mine? Remember, I'm looking for the people who are looking for me. Share your business anniversary. Some of you have given how many years you've been doing this. That is so awesome. Happy anniversary to me and all the, all the people I've been able to serve all these years. Thank you so much, right? A throwback of you at your business. I see this sometimes. Some of you will have past posts you've made of years past of patching somebody, right? This is an opportunity um, for you to be resharing. That way you don't have to share something new. The announcement of a new product. Mm -mm -mm. You all may not know about this. Um, shouting out a mentor or hero. Mm, we all have those, right? Mm, those are some great ones. Some more. Sharing your morning routine, especially if it has anything to do with wellness, right? Or first thing I do um, to get me started on my day is I, I put on a patch, whatever, right? Just kidding. Um, not whatever. Um, share your favorite resources. Maybe you have some apps you love to use in your life and business, and maybe they're maybe they're health related apps. Maybe they're business apps. How about okay? Here we go. Post where you'll be making um, speaking. Uh, where you'll be speaking and making appearances. Hey, I'm excited to speak this weekend at this event. I want to invite you to come hear me at this event. Mm. 
I think there are some amazing people in this company with big hearts. And if you have charities that you're involved with, I want to, that's something really awesome to share. It's your passion for um, that type of partnership. How about posting something on your bucket list and especially something that you've been able to achieve, something you've been wanting to do for a long time and that your business and your work helped you achieve that. That's powerful. Ask your audience how you met them. Ask your audience how you met them. I had a post I did last weekend. I try to keep it casual on LinkedIn. And I just said, where are you from? And, and the post had a picture and it was like the, the love, the life, love, comment, idea. And it had like Africa, Europe, it had all the things. And oh my gosh, that post is still going. Right? That post is still going. It's fun to find out where people are from, how you met them. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so our time has gone really quickly. And I am not going to be able to see in the chat, um, but I want to invite you for a challenge. And, and I want to invite you just to think about what were your top takeaways today. So in the challenge, um, I think hopefully I'll be able to see the chat when I get back in, but it's not about me. It's about you. So the challenge is going to be wherever you've been on your social media, I would love to, to have to haul you out and, but not, I'm not going to ask you to say, but in the chat, share. Um, this is what I'm going to do now. Like may, maybe, maybe on a scale of one to 10, you were a one, you weren't doing anything. And so even if you go to one post a week from nothing, that's a start, right? Maybe you were a five and you want to be um, doing more. Just whatever it is, I'm going to invite you, put in the chat, commit to what you've done. If you had a top idea that you absolutely love, please share it. Please share it. And then... Um, with Mitzi's permission, I wanted to just share um, super quick while you're while you're um, typing in your your challenge and, and what you're going to do. Um, I am part of a virtual global online virtual network, and you can connect in with us. I do trainings um, every Sunday night North America time. This was one of them that I did, and Mitzi saw it and then said, "Oh my gosh, would you come and do this for our people?" Um, so one thing we have is a free Facebook group of business owners around the world. Would love to invite any of you in there that we're interested in. It's at virtualnetworking.group. My, um, my workshops are on replay. So depending on what time zone you're in, if it's not great for you, uh, I invite you to let me know. I'd be happy to um, get you replays of the various workshops that we do. Some are just like this. They're all about growing your network. Uh, we do global online events. We have one this Thursday. It's called the Virtual Team Global Gathering. You can find out about it at vteamsummit.com. The theme of that one is money, money, money. It's all about, um, we have a money mindset panel, someone to talk about savings and investing for business owners, and someone to talk about taxes. Um, so it'd be an awesome event with also global online networking. And then um, the way, when I first met Dale and Mitzi, it was because we were networking together. We have amazing networking chapters from, or with people from around the world. You can find out more at vteamnetwork.com. If you'd like to connect with me, you can email me here. Um, please find me on Facebook and LinkedIn, just Terry Lee Harrison, just like you, um, just like you see. I would love to connect with you and um, help cheer you on on your post. So my first mantra is, everyone, that I, um, I'm looking for the people that are looking for me. And my second one is, um, let's, cheer each other on, ooh, sorry. let's cheer each other on and help each other grow. And that's really, really how I love to live my life. So I'm here to cheer you on and just delighted to come alongside, even for just a minute, to help you all grow. Thank you, everybody.